pretty big place. I wonder if Alina's here. Uh, Mom. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, hello? Oh. Neo? Is that you? Hmm? Oh. Hi. There you are. Hello. <laughs> I see you decided to finally come by for a visit. Yeah, it took me a while. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't get lost on the way. Or has my penmanship been a little off? <laughs> no, I was able to find yeah, the house pretty quick. <laughs> Anyways, how have you been? Yeah, I've been doing alright. Just been hanging out with the other blue bolts. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, hopefully my Sonic hasn't been giving you any trouble there. <laughs> uh, you could say that. You could say that. Mm hmm. I'll have a talk with him later on that. <laughs> and anyways, come on in. Would you like anything to drink or something to eat? Yeah, I could use something to drink. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, come along this way here. <laughs> For some juice or tea or... I could use some juice. Alright, let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on a moment. Here, I got some more juice right here for you. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So what brings so what brings you by here for a visit, Neil? Mm, how do I get to know you a bit more? Like I said, I've never actually met my family uh. back in my world. Mm. Well, that is understandable. <laughs> uh, well, as you can tell, I'm the Queen of Mobius, but most often I don't really like being referred to as Queen. Usually whenever there's somebody who's a little bit... who actually has a good personality and doesn't and doesn't have an attitude, I allow them just to call me Alina. But usually a lot of the smaller ones, like uh, Cream the Rabbit, they keep calling me Miss Alina. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Alright. But, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if even Sonic told you that, well, there has been a long period where I was actually separated from him and uh, his brother and sister. Oh, you never mentioned that part. Yeah, you can thank Robotnik for that, or Eggman is what they call him. Mm. And had had to separate them in order to make sure that at least they are safe, and then when the time was right, we were we were ready to reunite, so that way we can at least make sure that at least we bring Mobius at peace and remove the tyrannical rule of Robotnik. So But now but now we're back together as one little happy family. <laughs> Definitely a lot different from the Robotnik I knew. Lions, he used to be- he was a teacher. There wasn't pretty much- mm -hmm. He wasn't a yeah, tyrannical ruler or anything. Yeah, from- Yeah, from Robotnik, he happened- Pretty much he still called himself Dr. Robotnik, and- Pretty much he used his science for evil and been trying to take over the world with his machines and even roboticized uh, Mobian citizens. Hmm. Really enough, never got to see any of that. Honestly, mm. uh, me and my team, we, well, just, we made sure nothing happened. Not even Robotnik, yeah, tried to call hmm. anything. He got a degree, he's a teacher hmm. at a university. Oh, was. <laughs> uh, because, because from... I know that I know that you may have mentioned this and Sonic did too, that your world was destroyed, correct? Yeah, it was. Uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm sure I'm sure that your Robotnik was quite was quite an ingenious man and actually a very good man too. He was. He really was. Mac, I learned a lot from him. Mm. There's some things I had to learn. Traveling around <laughs> the world didn't really give you much lessons or anything. Oh, oh here, I'll take that for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no 
problem. Care for any more juice, or do you think you'll be okay? I'm good for right now. Alright. There we go. <laughs> but... Eh, at any rate, though, but... Right now... But right now, as far as I'm aware of, I know that Robotnik, or Eggman is what he calls himself now. He's still trying to come up with dastardly plans to take over Mobius, but he has been on quite the losing streak ever since Sonic started becoming the big hero of the planet. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. Honestly... Yes, though, I think there have been, um... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Though there have been moments where I think those two may be becoming frenemies rather than enemies, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I've seen that before. Honestly, <laughs> back in my world, I wouldn't like Sonic. Sure, well, aside from running around at the speed of sound, faster than light, eh, the big hero <laughs> that was protecting my world was actually my well, leader of Team Dark. Shadow. Wow. A shadow that's actually a hero. <laughs> well, well all I could say different... is that if the shot. If... I was gonna say, gotta remember I know what you different mean. universes and different you know, personalities. That's true, but if the shadow of this world had actually became a hero here, then I wouldn't be having an issue with Sonya dating him. <laughs> Honestly, I think I prefer my shadow over him. Though, yeah. Yeah, though, the one I know in this world, yeah, he's not as, well, arrogant as the one that we know. Mm-hmm. Arrogant, standoffish, tends to be loud at certain points. Ugh. But I've never encountered him. Mm-hmm. I had a first meet him on Thanksgiving. It was Sonya's idea. Yes. Initially, it was just supposed to be myself, the children, and Jules. But then, Sonya decided to bring Shadow along. However, I reluctantly accepted him because apparently she was really happy with him. One hour long hour left. Yeah. But, however, unlike other mo unlike certain mothers, I won't be disowning her because of her choice in men, but in a way, it's still better than the last boyfriend she had. Who was her last boyfriend? Uh, let's just, I really hate saying his name, but let's just say he was actually quite controlling and had been using her. Ugh. I did not like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I was in your shoes, I wouldn't like it either. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and right now I'm just hoping that he'll be the only ex of any of my children so that I had to use the crowbar on to get a point across. Ex? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, trust me, whenever I do end up meeting some people, yeah, let's just say if my temper is a little bit too heightened and they hurt any of my family or close friends, uh, yeah, you'll probably hear me call to one of the children to bring the crowbar. <laughs> oh, don't... Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I definitely know that you are definitely quite... Quite a, quite an outstanding young man, especially with how your manners are and how you've been interacting with others. <laughs> and plus, even Sonic seems to like you, even if you are, well, another Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if he had met me before what I am now, he'd probably be a bit, yeah, well, frightened. A bit frightened? Originally... Before, well, before I had this appearance, and before, yeah, well, the whole incident back in my world. Well, actually, eh, it's hard to explain. Maybe it'll be better if I showed you. Oh, this is where all I right. Should, yeah, this is where I'll transform. Okay. 
Wow. Originally, I That's... was looking like. Have you heard of Fleetways? I have heard it a few times. I know Sonic had mentioned to me before when uh, Jules decided to return to the children's lives and into my life. It was quite rough, but turned out it was negative energy coming out from the Fleetway that Sonic used to have. Yeah. But... Mine. I was stuck in my Fleetway form before I regained my original form. No, it did come with a costume. So. Took half my Cost. energy, but also, yeah, it gave me these permanent scars on my face. As well as the curse oh, of being stuck with my original appearance of when I'm in my fleaway. Hmm, I see. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, but. At least it's safe to say, at least I'm able to meet a f somebody who has a fleet waveform that's mostly under control. Hopefully I said that right. Yeah, technically I am still a fleet wave, yes. And the only one who actually has regained his original form while still being having that title. Mm. And so that's why you go by the name Neo? Yeah. <laughs> to try to differentiate myself from the other Sonics. I have my own name. My own hmm. story. Hmm. Well, I think that's definitely a good name for you to help with differentiating. Yeah, but yeah, also, it's... still, regardless of the form, to me, you'll still always be a Sonic. <laughs> Thanks. I wish my team, my current team, would know that. Mm, well, listen here, Neil. Whatever, you, whatever negativity that your team that your uh, team thinks of you, if it's temporary and it dissipates and they contact you again, they should give you a chance to. They should give you a chance to at least hear you out about what's going on. If they still can't accept you for who you are, hold on. If they can't trust. If they cannot trust your word, or even trust what is in front of them, then they were never a team to begin with. They were never a team to you. Yes, I think it'll be a long while before they actually ever mm -hmm. accept me back. I kept that whole secret mm -hmm. from them for so long. <laughs> Se Honestly, oh, the secret know. of the Fleetway? That, but also the amount of people I've hurt. Well, I may have told still you. though, Neo. Hmm? Here's the thing. Go ahead. I told you, the thing is, I told I've told you what happened to my world, what happened to my wife. As well as the fact that I killed her. Right. The thing is there's more to it. I killed everyone in my world. The day of my birthday, I lost control of myself because of my flea waveform. My wife was my first victim. And everyone else. The last people who were even able to know where the last one standing was my first Team Dark. I ended up killing the people who took me in as a new member. I went to 599 worlds. Working with Team Dark. I'm losing control of my own power. This one is my 600. like things were going yes. so well until that bastard literally revealed my secret I was gonna tell him eventually has any has anyone been killed here in this world no. that been that been slain by your hands no okay. like I said thanks to Chris and the chaos emeralds I was able to regain my original form. Sure, it came at a cost, but it gave me control. Mm. 
uh, because of me hiding that secret and they... from them, from him. Like, I don't know if they will ever trust me again. I won't accept me back. And what about those blue vaults? Do they know? I know only Maurice and Sonic knows. They're the only ones mm -hmm. you know. Eventually, I will need well, to I understand. Well, I do understand that this is your secret, Neo. And when it comes to secrets, the only ones that you should be able to share with are those that you trust. However, still at the same time, with when the vassal that you had to deal with, part of my language, had revealed it, and then caused your teammates to turn away. Again, my word still stands. If they truly are your team, no matter how long it takes, whenever they're ready to reach out to you, you definitely know if they are your team. Otherwise, if they do not reach out, then the Blue Bolts might be, your, might be a good safe haven for you. I mean, Sonic and the... This Maurice you mentioned, they still seem to accept you for who you are, correct? Yeah. Considering they've already they've dealt with that bastard himself more than once, so they know where I'm going, where I'm coming from with that. Mm -hmm. frankly, I, I may him. not have, s I may not have seen this Fleetway in person. But, however, I did know that he was at work, again, when I mentioned about Jules coming back into our life. He was out of our lives for years before he decided to come back. But then once the negative energy had dissipated, we were finally able to take things one step at a time. So, my recommendation, once the negative influence that may be upon your team It'll dissipate over time, you have to give it time. But, otherwise, for right now, try not to worry too much about everybody accepting you for who you are, as long as there are those that you trust with your secrets that will be able to at least keep you in safe haven. And, well, seems like you trusted me with your secret. <laughs> and all I can say is that, hey, if you need somewhere to... If you need some somewhere to retreat to, and the blue bolts aren't available, you can always come by to my place here. I might take you up on that offer. <laughs> plus the other, plus the other two children seem to like you as well. <laughs> that reminds me, I need to go and talk to Manic because apparently he took my wallet when we were at that concert. Hmm, <sighs> Manic, not again. All right. You definitely have your talk with Manic, and then let him know to come straight home as soon as possible, so I can have a talk with him, and maybe yeah. be able to find that crowbar as well. Yeah, we'll definitely. See if he gets a bit, yeah, well, you know, stubborn. I got a little something now. Maybe knock some sense into him. Literally. Oh ho! <laughs> uh, you know what? You and Amy are starting to inspire me. Maybe I should get myself one of those. <laughs> Most definitely. You could really knock some sense into somebody. <laughs> or make somebody not have any kids. <laughs> hmm. Careful. You may be giving me the right tools to make sure that Shadow's in his place. <laughs> well, feel free. Feel free. <laughs> Anyways, I should probably get going. Sonic the Editors are probably wondering where I'm at. No worries, but before you leave, here. Thank you. But don't worry, your, your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... 
If you ever need a mother figure, feel free to call me mother if you like. Take all the time that you need. <laughs> but, anyways, I'll go ahead and leave you be, but thank you for coming on by, Neo. I'm glad at least we were able to at least have a more proper talk without the kids hopping around. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. <laughs>